Zolf, very soon the kid's gonna have to face that man again for the last time. They met on the worst day of Zolf's life. There in the hanging gardens, he aimed to throw it all away. It wasn't the first time Zolf had nothing to lose. He was born to a simple Ur a couple who didn't last long before plague took him. He grew up hungry in the tunnels of the Tazel terminals, so he took the stealing from a Ceylonian missionary living there. He once got sloppy with his thieving hands. The missionary caught him, but didn't rat him out. Instead, he offered to take him in. That missionary raised Zolf like a gentleman, like it was his own son, taught him theology, history, and mercy. Passed away, Zolf promised to continue his work to bring about a lasting peace between the Ura and Ceylandia. <laughs> Zolf started teaching the missionaries wisdom to any Ura who would listen, and listen they did. He advocated tolerance and argued that the Ura should atone for the war. He believed the city had much to teach his people. However, Zolf felt he could only do so much in the Tazel terminals. He needed Ceylandia to know the Ura had changed. He 
He decided to do what the missionary did many years before. He left the city of his youth to brave a savage land. The journey was hard, but he knew how to fend for himself. And then at last, Zolf saw the rippling walls on the horizon. He endeared himself to city folk. Mm -hmm.